decals are kind of an entirely different story. Decals are pretty much what makes... No. Maps look more fancier, I guess. I can filter out decals in the texture browser, and you're going to see like CSS Assault, Assault de Decal. Uh, it's not going to make sense, but I'm just going to show you what it does. I select a decal tool with a, a decal texture, if you just filter it out in a texture browser, it look like that. See? It's seamless, pretty much. I'm, I'm just going to leave it in here so I can just... At the end of the day, I'm going to show you what I've made for all of y'all. See, yeah, that might happen. And I don't like that. I don't like that happening. Like, now there's a decal. Just move it off to the side a little bit or something like that. Like so. Or I just want to actually rotate this just that way. Did it even rotate the right way? Or is it? Yeah, it's always going to stay that way, I guess. Oh, it doesn't matter. Now, something similar is an overlay. The thing about decal, the difference I find in uh, decals and overlays is that you can actually edit the size of an overlay, and decals always stay the same. So, um, I'm going to apply this. Now, decal like that. You can't change the size or anything like that. Great, perfect. You want it like that? Congratulations, there you go. Now, decals, you can actually you know, change the size to anything that you want it to. I want to put it like that. Now if I do it like this and just drag, there you go. That's because I have a texture lock. If I didn't have texture lock on it, it probably would not do that. It's going to just repeat itself over and over and over again. But because I want it to take up the whole wall anyways, then just that. That's going to look ugly, but demonstration purposes. 